Did you go on a holiday? Did you go by train or by bus or by boat or maybe on a plane? But it really doesn't matter because when you go on a holiday and you board a plane to your chosen destination, you normally just relax on the plane, even sipping champagne and having dinner. But you don't have an idea who the pilot is. You don't even know his name. You sail on a cruise ship for weeks through many islands in the Caribbean and you may never even see the captain once or what he looks like. You relax on a bus tour, sitting right at the back of the bus. And meanwhile, all you can see is the back of the bus driver's head. You don't even know, you haven't seen him, the, what he looks like in front. You just trust in that captain, you trust in that pilot, and you trust in that bus driver to take you to your chosen destination. But when it comes to your life, who do you put your trust in? Whilst you're sipping champagne on the journey of life, who is the pilot that you trust to get you to your destination? Because most of us can't relax and enjoy the ride of our lives. We want to control every outcome. We want to make up how things should be. And then when things don't go our way, we lose trust, we lose hope, and we no longer feel good with life. Life becomes so stressful. When we can simply relax and trust in the captain of our destiny, Trust in the pilot who is in charge of our faith and the driver of all the forces of nature that guaranteed will bring to us that which we truly deserve. When you know and trust in the laws of the universe and you know that they are an autopilot, they take you where you need to be for the lessons that you need to learn, for the growth that your spirit needs, and some days you will sip on champagne along the way. And the other days, it will be a very bitter tonic. It won't taste nice. But every time, it will be at the right time and at the right place. It will give to you that which you are deserving of whilst you enjoy the scenery. So where, why are we fretting about life? Why are we so anxious about every outcome, how life will turn out? The answer is simple. It is because we've been separated from the source of all life and we have lost trust in ourselves because we know that we have deviated from the right path. If you're on the plane sitting next to someone who's afraid of flying, imagine how, that, how scared that person is going to be and all panicky. There will be like every single turbulence, <laughs> every turbulent moment, they'll be screaming and shouting in fear. That is how we are living our lives, instead of having faith and trust. And when something comes along and tests us, maybe in our relationships, our health, our finances, we suddenly lose hope and we no longer trust in the automatic laws of creation because it's not going the way we imagined it. A child who is in good stead with his parents will joyfully come home for dinner. But imagine one that has erred, that has been making mistakes. He'll have to tiptoe into the house through the window, afraid that he will get found out. Some of us have chosen not to come home at all. We've gone rogue in the universe. We no longer have trust and faith. And it has been replaced with fear and anxiety about the future. Where can we still find joyful obedience amongst people in this, in this world, like little children, able to surrender ourselves to the laws of creation. Just like you temporarily surrendered your life into that driver's hands or that pilot, and you trust them to take you to your destination. We must do that with our lives. We must surrender to the giver of life. Instead of trying to be calculative and manipulative, we must relax and let go. You are not the pilot. The power of the Creator is automatic. It controls everything and you are just to surrender to it. Like a child who has faith in his parents, knowing that he will always be protected and provided for by them. So that in moments of discomfort, moments of pain and uncertainty, he just needs to reach out to them for their support and their answers. We forget to do this with our lives. We forget to do the same towards our creator. When we're in poor health, for instance, we quickly turn to modern medicine, looking for our quick fix, where nature beckons on us. 
Our belief in nature goes out of the window at that time. When we are broke, we get sad and think, oh, the whole world is against us. Why are others enjoying, but not me? It's not fair. We forget to trust in the eternal promise of protection and guidance from our Creator, provided that we align ourselves to the laws of His household. But that's the work that we're not prepared to do. When it's time to face the consequences of our actions, we just want the easy way out. So faith and trust in the giver of life is one of the most important things that we can have as spiritual beings as it allows us to live more joyfully, knowing that if we just trust and obey, we will always be happy. Remember that song, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Okay, don't judge my singing voice. <laughs> so until next time, be gentle with yourself and trust and obey in the power of the creator of all the worlds. And you will find joy at every turn. Until next time, bye for now.